Balls, 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 balls. Hello, everybody, and welcome to an Indestructible Potatoes Potato Lounge number 18 with Austin, Corey, and Logan playing Limbo. Uh, free to play game after E3 came out with the, uh, what was it, the free game that they kind of shut, or the uh, new indie game called Inside, I believe. Um, how you guys doing today? I'm doing swell. You're doing swell? Yeah. Austin, how you doing today? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good? All right, well, let's jump on into it. Minecraft Realm to introduce cross-play across all platforms. Cross-play between Xbox, Windows 10, Android, iPhone, and the VR compatible. Uh, it's a first step towards a fully moddable Minecraft, says the uh, Mojang or whatever else. Was it 4K Studios that did that too? I think so. All right. Uh, what do you think of play between all consoles and... Uh, Phones, I guess. Phones? It's going to be Android and iPhone, apparently. Wait, connected to, like, consoles? To, for the Minecraft realm that they introduced during E3. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Michael Bay to direct a VR project for Rogue Initiative. This is not Star Wars-based in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's supposed to be a gritty, danger close action. Uh, Michael Bay is to direct and produce. Uh, the movie is, being, is looking to be distributed as uh, its project through Sony to uh, PlayStation. Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Samsung, Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. I'd assume some place close to uh, Hardcore Henry, as close as they can You're get to You're a dipshit. It. You're a dipshit. Can't you, you almost killed yourself. Can't you drown in this game? Yes. Austin, think smart about your decisions here. You're playing um, as a small uh, kid. I want to know who the fuck keeps giving Michael Bay. Chinese. I mean, I guess, yeah. The Japanese. I mean, I, I'm just tired of him directing movies. I think he does pretty shit. I job. think everybody's tired of him directing movies, to be honest with you, but, you know. I don't know. It's another VR project, kind of, I would assume, something similar to uh, how Hardcore Henry was filmed, but, you know, with two GoPro cameras, one for one for uh, live play and the other one for playback. But we'll continue on. Uh, Logan Marshall Green is among the new cast additions to Spider-Man Homecoming. And uh, he was uh, also the Silicon Valley star Martin Starr, two R's. Uh, Logan is to play a villainous role. Uh, no details as to uh, Starr's role. But uh, if, for anybody who doesn't know, Logan Marshall Green was uh, a doctor in Prometheus. Uh, he was the dude who kind of got infected by uh, David, I believe is the oh, android's name. So he was the one who drank the water and got the whatchamacallit in his fucking eye. Oh, and gross. killed everybody, or killed most people. Impregnated her. <clears throat> yeah, impregnated her with the with the uh, weird baby. Oh god. Yeah. Also, you should watch that movie sometime soon. What is it? Prometheus. Do you do you like abortions? Alien abortions. Yeah. You'll love this. You'll movie. love it. It's awesome. <laughs> now we've already played a bit of the Overwatch competitive play, haven't we? Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, we yeah, love the competitive play. It's it's yeah. it's pretty awesome, but it makes me want to uh... beat the shit out of your brain. Yeah. yeah um, basically. Overwatch competitive play. Here are some uh, tips. It's a uh, Remove, they remove the tier-based progression. Instead, it will direct cor uh, directly correlate in players' matchmaking ratings to a player skill rating. As we've noticed before, when we uh, finished your ten play or t your ten game state uh, state where you would figure out what place you st uh, placed in, uh, you would automatically correlate to your player skill, which was either so far I think Austin and I hit fifty six and Corey hit fifty five. If I think if I'm yeah, believing I moved so. Yeah, fifty six after. Well, yeah, after a few games. more games, but yeah, there's that directly correlates to your skills as to win or losing and how. I'd assume it correlates to the games and whatnot. Uh, now players will be able to see skill ratings for themselves as well as others. Uh, the team average skill rating also will be displayed. As I told you, as I talked to Corey before uh, today, which is uh, July third. Uh, we kind of talked about it, and I told him that if you kind of look at it, if you're like the leader of the group and you look at your skill rating, it actually gives a skill rating. Really? Uh, where you combine, because when we were playing, we were both 56s when we played, uh, it showed us as a uh, skill level 59. Interesting. Which doesn't make sense as... What the hell? Why did you just get eaten by? A giant a rolling rock. turd? He got eaten by a rock. Oh, I don't play this game. Oh, right, right. Oh, run away! Yeah, there's a Brock stopped him, but uh, but that I've, I've already told you about that. And then there's uh that sudden death play that we've all gone through at least once or twice that we absolutely fucking hate. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, there uh, this is uh, there are also going to be uh some format changes for maps, such as how uh pushing a objective uh, happened way too fast, as some people noticed in the PC version when they give it a beta test. Um. There are cosmetic rewards only available for playing in each session. So far, we're in season one, and this season is supposed to be 1.5 months rather than the 2.5 month season. So it's supposed to be shorter than the normal amount of months, uh, just to start off so people get used to how things roll. Yeah. Uh, the highest skilled players can unlock golden guns, but that is only within the top 500. 
Uh, then there's the issue with uh, Aver season will last about three months. Now we're going to go on to a very somber topic, Corey and okay. Austin. Oh, rip, Austin. Star, Star Trek actor Anton Yelchin, uh, who played uh, Chekhov in the, start, in the latest two editions, latest three editions of Trek Universe, yeah. sadly died uh, a few weeks back at the age of 27 on June 19th. Are you serious? Yeah. I did um, not hear about this. I won't go into... I'll just... Briefly go on to the details. He died. Uh, apparently, his Jeep Cherokee was in neutral, and he got out of his car to unlock his gate in Hollywood. And his car apparently rolled into him. Now, mind you, it's a you know two-ton car, and it will constantly go. But apparently, there's this car that he was driving is under um, investigation and recall, actually. But uh, um. yeah, uh, Anton Yelchin actually is in the last. Uh, addition to the Star Trek universe, uh, and it'll be, and I'm sad to say that I actually kind of liked him as Chekhov, and oh, so did I. it'll be kind of sad to see who, if they do another Star Trek, to see what happens in the future with him. Um, but uh, let's continue on. Uh, Fallout 4 has a PS, uh, Fallout 4, PS4 mod issues. Evidently, there are mod issues with the uh, Fallout 4 and the PS4 with the uh, mods. Apparently, the memory and performance issues are having an issue since most of the uh, mods are taken from the PC textures and used on PS4, so they can't, you know, comprehend the two of them. Yeah. So all those people who bitch about how the PS4 is better, they're having fucking issues. Because you see how the Xbox One works perfectly fine with fucking mods? I Boom, I 10 out of 10. See, I don't play Fallout 4. I, I use PC. Yeah, well, just PC fuck P off. PC Master Race. You kill yourself. Uh, there are also sound files that, not, that are not supported due to Sony using property sound format. Proprietary sound format, I apologize. Uh, meaning that there's probably copyright issues that they've got to get for certain things. Um, <coughs> there's also an issue with the mod storage on the PS4 with only being able to hold 900 megabytes. As the uh, Xbox One is able to hold 2 gigs. Uh, and I'm assuming, I don't know, on the PC, but I'm assuming it's probably a lot more than 2 gigs. Uh, yeah, a uh, shit ton more. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, uh, we'll see. Hopefully there's going to be a few more mods coming up. Uh, Warcraft Movie. Is now the most successful video game movie of all. That's not saying much. 377.6 million worldwide, 200 million alone in China. The previous record was set by Prince of Persia, uh, the uh, Sands of Time, which took 335 million back in 2010. Now that's impressive. If you think about it, it's been six years, and there's not been a decent movie, a decent game movie since then. And I think there's been at least two or three, but now that game movies are taking kind of that heat. There's going to be those issues in the Isn't future. Be Assassin's Creed one? That will probably overtake WoW by a lot, I, sadly. It depends. It I really think depends. there's a lot. I think the fan base for Assassin's Creed's a bit more than uh than like, WoW. I don't know how much. I don't know how well they're how much they're going to incorporate lore if they're just going to start over with the movies. But yeah, well, the, if you saw problem. the if you saw the trailer, oh, yeah, it looked Austin, pretty how, decent. How afraid of spiders are you? That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better be careful. He's, you're gonna he's get, gonna stab you're gonna you right in your, your mouth. fucking face. Um, Nomi repairs uh, is back for the Alien Covenant, <laughs> and will be uh, she'll be reprising her role as Elizabeth Shaw. Alien Covenant opens in theaters August fourth, twenty seventeen, targeting for an R rating. Uh, we've already reported on that before with uh, how it was set about ten years in the future from uh, from Prometheus, and it still incorporates the Whaling Utani Corporation. Yeah, um, a bunch of dickheads, basically. Yeah, a bunch of dickheads. Well, he was actually... <laughs> I wonder how the Whaling Utani Company did because the dude died in Prometheus. That's true. He got fucking killed. Well, wasn't Prometheus a prequel? Yeah, it was a prequel to the entire thing. But it still was... It still kind of dates everything, so... Yeah. Uh, Death Wish is a remake starring Bruce Willis. is going to be directed by Eli Roth, who was in uh, Inglorious Bastards, and directed uh, Green Inferno, which is kind of an indie film. He's a very indie actor. Green Inferno is fucked. Yeah, Green Inferno is a fucked up movie, but it's a pretty good movie. If you guys like horror movies or uh, you know stuff like that, it's a pretty decent movie. Austin, go inside that fucker's mouth, and oh you're dead. God. Oh Austin. god, oh god, he's winding up. Oh damn! Oh. Like a shish kebab. Oh, oh, that's so violent. You got <laughs> dude. Have you ever not, have you ever seen this game before? No. This shit's straight fucking terrifying. Yeah, it is. Uh, comedian Hannibal Brewis has joined the cast of Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, no news as to what his role will be, but that start, uh, the filming started uh, June 20th of 2016. Hotel Transylvania 3 has been announced, coming September uh, 21st, 2018. Um, Grindy Tartakbosky, sorry if I'm that name, to direct. 
Uh, he directed the first two, Transylvania, so I'm assuming it will probably be just as better or worse as the first one. Uh, Adam Sandler returning oh, as executive yeah. producer and to... voice Dracula. Thought Austin was about to eat shit. Do it, Austin. Now you gotta, you gotta, get. Yeah. Oh shit! Can you push it to him? Yeah. There we go. He's gonna rip off his leg. Oh, oh yeah. You probably gotta tease him. You gotta him. entice him. You gotta tease him. You gotta tease that shit. There you go. He's oh, he's, he's, he's winding up. Oh. You see where he hit now? Back it up right there, right there, right there. And he's getting he's getting farther away, so you probably just need to put it right there. There you go. Oh my god. That's gruesome as shit. <laughs> Sorry right. about that. Uh, Adam Sandler <coughs> returning as executive producer and voice of Dracula. Selena Gomez. <coughs> Sorry. You wanna, you wanna die. Oh god! That was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Selena Gomez and Andy Samberg to direct, uh, to play daughters, uh, and her, uh, to play the daughter and the husband, uh, Marvis. Uh, Overwatch has nerfed Torben on the console version. Uh, they've nerfed the turret. They've reduced his turret by 30% damage, which if you think about that before, it was, his, his damage was going around 60 to 30 damage each. So there's always that chance that they'll have to do it again and again and again repeatedly. Um, uh, Brian Cranston to cast... As Zordon, yeah. Uh, open in theaters March twenty, uh, March twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. Is this supposed to be like a serious? I believe it's supposed to be a serious one. I'm oh God, kill sure. me! So we'll probably figure that out later to come up with. Have, um, you, ever, have you ever actually seen like any old man? Old trans, old Power Rangers movies? Yeah, no, shit, not really. That, that, it, it's so bad. I haven't really seen it. I have to. Watch, I want to rewatch one of them. One with uh, Doctor. I want to see the one with uh, Doc uh, Ooze, Doctor Ooze, or Ooze. I don't remember it. Right Ivan Ooze. Ivan Ooze, that one. I, <laughs> I need to rewatch. No more than me. <laughs> we watched it when we were kids. I know. It's been a while. <laughs> um, <coughs> you want to die? Sorry. Kong Skull Island. Okay, Kong. Skull Island King Kong will be the biggest one ever. Director John Vogst Roberts uh, is not a 10 foot or 30 foot, but a 100 foot oh. ape. Oh. Are you stuck? Oh, uh, you better run. You better run. Uh, yeah. you, you can't get out of this. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh, he's angry. He's got to kill ah. you. Oh, he's taking you back with him. You going to play a game? He's going to wrap you up. He's going to play a game with you, Austin. He's wrapping you up all deep like. Oh, yeah. Austin, how scary are you? Do you want to put a sick game is this? Do you want to put a button on your... Do you want to put a bow on dude, your... Dude, this thing? game is fucked up, dude. This I game is dark. You. Yeah. Should, they're, the game they released inside, I think, is already out. Or it's going to be out soon. It yeah, looks you gotta dark, knock too. You're going to knock your way out. Swing. Swing yourself. Yeah, swing. There you go. Oh, now I'm gonna hang myself. Hop. 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 Get the way. Get away. Hurry up. Fast. Run. He's coming after you, too. He is. He's gonna run after you. I think I'm serious. You think I'm kidding. I've seen gameplay of this game. Um, Tom Hiddleston, the former British SAS officer, Brie Larson, the photojournalist, Weaver, include Samuel L. Jackson and John C. Reilly, Riley, uh, to release date of March 10th, 2017. Eventually, this movie, apparently Kong is supposed to be, uh, a combination of Kong and Godzilla in the future. So that's going to be kind of neat to see in the future. Uh, I'd like to see how they how they deal with this one. It's going to include Samuel L. Jackson. So that would be neat. Um, Halo, War <clears throat> Halo War 2's beta stats. Over 1 million matches. Uh, ranking 1... <laughs> oh, <coughs> over 1 million... <coughs> over 1 million... 1 million, 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 coughs. 1 million matches. Uh, racking 1.2 million hours of overall game time, which if you think about it, I think uh, I think Overwatch beta hit about that many hours. No, or... didn't didn't you like play one game that was like an hour long? I, yeah, I played one game where some dude caused the game to be an hour and thirty minutes long. So yeah, there is that. Um, Minecraft movie is set to hit silver screen May 24, twenty nineteen. Is expected to th uh to th a three D and IMAX version of it. Now I do not know about this, but Corey, give me your thoughts on an eye on a Minecraft movie. Um, is it gonna be live action? I guarantee it's gonna be live action. God, no, no, please, please, God, no. Is that your opinion on it? Or if that... you guys want to know some serious cringe about some Minecraft stuff, just, just, just go around, you know, YouTube. Just go to porn. Uh, no, don't, please, don't go to porn. <laughs> uh, but look up, uh, look up Eye of the Spider. You'll like that one. So it's a really good, uh, it's a really, really good um, user-created music video about Minecraft. Yeah, so I it's guess my favorite. That's Corey's favorite. 
Um, but we'll continue on. Flaming Flaw Studios, the developers of the of uh, developers of collectible card games, Fable Fortune has ended the Kickstarter for its game early. Uh, it does not mean the game is dead for anybody who's actually interested in getting a card game of uh, Fable. Uh, Flaming Fall Studios has secured additional development funding and will soon release a closed beta build for this game. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Flaming Flaw was formed after the closure Ooh. of Lionhead Studios. Jesus. <coughs> uh, the Kickstarter had uh, 1,500 backers. Raising nearly thirty uh, fifty nine thousand dollars, a target to uh, target to reach two hundred fifty thousand dollars. But I gotta admit, for someone for a company to kind of build off of itself and to come up with more fable ideas, I think that's it's very ballsy of them and it's very ingenuitive because that fable do, fable doesn't deserve to die. They did a fantastic job on it. I know Austin's a fan of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's a fan of it. Yeah, it'd be nice to see what they did oh, it again. Oh Lord. Nice, nice. Good. Parkour, hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Jesse Eisenberg confirms her return for Lex Luthor in Justice League. We'll leave it there. Steven Spielberg vows to never direct a Star Wars movie. Now I'm kind of, I kind of, I'm a bit hurt by this one. Uh, apparently, this is quote unquote not his genre. It's not. Uh, I'm not a fan. I'm just, I'm just with everybody else in the audience watching them. Now I gotta admit, it'd be nice that, to that, see. I'm not... Steven Spielberg has. I don't think he's directed. He's more. <laughs> You just moved into it. You gotta jump, dipshit. You, was, yeah. You're dumb. Just move. Uh, I'd be kind of. I'm sad because I don't think Steven Spielberg actually directed. He produced or he helped like. No, pro- I think it's fine. He's fine. Uh, he's fine, he's right fine with it. Je- dipshit. What the jump? jump. You're I not jump. jumping. You're a liar. You're, I jumped. You're not jumping. We I'm looking at you. Impaled <laughs> yourself in the asshole. No, that was his dick. That was just straight up his dickhole. <laughs> Fuck, man. Give the kids some fucking I'm honest sorry. death. Where's his parents? <laughs> They're probably dead. Have you seen how brutal this goddamn world is? <laughs> said where, said where's his parents? Oh, God damn it. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, Rogue oh. One character, is from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Not the, uh, not the two cartoon series that, we ha- that we've seen before. Like the actual TV show on like Cartoon Network or whatever it was. Wait, it's from the TV show? It's not from the car- TV show? From the TV show. Not the cartoon that we have upstairs. Not the one that was put on DVD. The one that actually set into seasons. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he plays Shaw... I'm sorry, Saul G R G E R R E R A. A shadowy freedom. It, Austin. You just bend down and let him fuck you. Stop playing pay me now. Austin, just run past him. He's a, he's a dummy. Oh, dumb bitch. Why are these it's kids? Why are these kids trying to kill you? I don't know. Fucking bastards. Um, apparently, Shaw Gr- the shadow, uh, shadowy freedom fighter, the who was seen in the fifth season of uh, the Clone Wars. Now we've already broken down our. Uh, we've already broken down the trailer, and we're kind of. Wi- <laughs> That's stupid. You just wiped yourself You're out just like a to fucking run idiot. Back and, and run and jump over the edge again. You really suck at this game, man. The Disney oh, chairman yeah. and it's chief. Catching ex- him. It's gonna catch him. Ah! <laughs> um, Disney chairman and the chief executive officer Bob Eager uh, doesn't expect Indiana Jones to have a massive shared universe like Star Wars. But Eager did say Disney is focused on creating more films in the series. Sadly, I am not interested in seeing any more Indiana Joneses because I'm already past the last four and I don't give a shit about this fifth one. The fourth one was a church. The fourth one I'd rather just ignore because the first three were at least somewhat decent. The first three were amazing. Yeah, the first ones were a decent. The fourth one can kill itself. Yeah. They like the kid. He can hang oh himself. He probably, you know what? I guarantee that kid watched Indiana Jones 4. He just did that. You're about to get impaled. You're about... Oh. Fuck. How did you not see that? I saw it. I didn't think it was going it to... Kill- okay. It killed you well, fast. What, what part of that didn't let you think, oh man, this is about to come down and fuck me? <laughs> go, Austin. Try to trip it. Ah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, I saw that was about to happen. I was just waiting his, for it. You should have seen his fucking face. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, I was fu- oh, my. Oh, you're right. Um, okay, and last. Last for this recording. Before we, before Austin decides to actually quit the game and rage Rip. quit. Rip. My ass. <laughs> Uncharted's Nolan North can't see Mark Wahlberg as Nathan Drake. Uh, apparently there was a Uncharted movie being in the talks as, at the moment. Um, Chris Pratt would be a better choice, says, uh, Nolan North. Wahlberg is running for the part, allegedly, <laughs> but, uh, apparently there's no news as to if it's confirmed or not as to if he's got the part or not. 
You know what else is confirmed, right? Uh, Shit. Illuminati? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and skip that. Uh, North has been vocal about his opinion on the Uncharted film in the past. He said, he said fans don't want an Uncharted film, and it, as has the video game itself, is already such a cinematic experience. I agree with him. Because the film is such a cinematic experience, they have no need for a movie because Naughty Dog did such a fantastic job. Now, the issue with it is people want such big things from it because they want to see live action. Now, the issue with live action is because you can't do it on set and you have to oh, create man. a universe around it. Jump on it, Austin. Run away. I wonder what world you live in where there's a fuck, big ass spider like that. Um, Uncharted film still in the works, says director of Naughty Dog, Neil Drockman. Uh, hopefully we see, maybe some more news come up with it eventually, but uh, there's no news as to what he's going to do now or what there's... No. You fucking idiot. You've already died. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Ah. wow. Whoa. Whoa. I don't understand the spider's beef. Yeah, for yeah, real. What's his deal? You just tore he's a leg off. To, he wants to eat you. He just tore a leg off and he's killed that kid. I mean, uh, technically, you kind of, you know, he was just kind of chilling his tree. He didn't want you coming near his tree. And then you decided to, you know, fucking take, take, his take, leg. Off, take three legs off. Yeah. Fuck that. Dickhead. So you're the asshole. Well, you also did need to be trying to stab him, so there is that. Weird. But um, you know, hopefully we see something about the Nathan Drake. Austin, uh, you have to jump as soon as he gets the he clicks on it. What are you doing? You're an idiot. What are you doing? You've already fucked yourself. Ah. Okay, well, well, we'll go ahead and just end that death there. But uh, I'd like everybody to uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys could. Uh, it's been a been a joy seeing Austin get killed repeatedly in uh in I limbo. That part particularly. Yeah, dying repeatedly in a uh, in a showery spray of blood as he drowns himself now oh my but if you guys could leave a like comment and subscribe that'd be fantastic so we can keep shooting some videos at you and keep shooting some news towards you guys but uh we will see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye, -bye.